Okay. So yes. So today we'll talk about different operators that we have. Okay. So hmm. um actually, you know, before operators, let's talk about data types. Yeah. Okay. Now data types yeah. are important because this shows or this tells computer or Python what kind of value it can expect, right? So for for human being, it's easy. We are able to decode the value, but for uh, machine, it it also has to decode, right? So um, mm -hmm. because the operation that you perform varies based on the data type, right? What you could do on text, you cannot do with numbers, isn't it? What you could mm -hmm. do with numbers, you can't do with text. So it is important to do that. And this is where you'll find a big difference between uh, Python and other uh, programming languages, okay? Here, just like human being, we can decode, Python is also trying to decode based on the value that you give. You don't have to define or declare what you call the data type, okay? okay you don't have to say uh, int, okay? You just say a equal to 50, it becomes type int, right? So I'm going to say a equal to 50, Okay, and type is a function, right? Yesterday we spoke about print. Here we're talking about type. So when you say type, it will give the data type of the variable. So the type of data that variable is storing. Okay, mm -hmm. and then since we are giving it in the print, it will print. So see, print has two variable, two arguments now. Okay, two members. So this is one member. And this is in quotation. So this will be printed as it is. Correct? Okay. And now I'm saying comma type A. So this will print the data type of A. Correct? Now when you run it. So type A means uh, it will come as uh, data type. Like it will print in. Let's see. Something. Yes. Okay. So see that? Class int. Okay, so it is of type int. Okay, integer means numbers without decimal values, right? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't need, I mean, it, it accepts both positive and negative numbers. It doesn't mean that, you know, it's only positive or only negative. It will accept any value from minus infinity to plus infinity without decimal part, right? Mm -hmm. So using type, you can actually check that data type. Okay, And when you say print, of course, this will print it on the screen. So this is integers. Right? Similarly, you have float. So if I say 50.0, okay, it becomes float. Right? Mm -hmm. So float has decimal values. Okay, it has decimal values. Now, same thing if I put in quotation, this is what we are doing in quotation. When you are putting in quotation, sorry, we are saying that it is of type text. Okay, we call it a string here in, in Python. So, since I'm using double quote outside, inside I'll use single quote and see it is string. Okay, string will have text. Okay, so the moment you put quotation, it becomes text. So that's why here, when I put in quotation, it becomes text. So text is printed as it is. Okay, so you have um, integer, float, and text. We have two more, uh, and other one is the first next one is very important that we use very often, which is called as Boolean. Okay, so true. Now, true written, see, generally we write text in quotation, isn't it? But mm -hmm. if it is Boolean, if it is true or false, right? True mm -hmm. or false, these are the only two values. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is. Okay, 
these are only two values true or false okay these are two values now when you say um, a equal to true okay i'm saying that condition is true okay and of course when you run this you will get boolean type okay mm -hmm. So, uh, Boolean will accept only true or false. That's it. True indicates condition is true. False indicate condition is false. That's it. Okay. So, um, just one small doubt. If yes. I put the true in like uh, double quotes. No. It becomes so a string. I, yeah. It, a it, string. Will, it will be string, right? So, when yeah. I type A, then it will come as uh, string. Type of A will mm -hmm. be string. Yes. Yes. But if I don't put quotes, then only it will take as bold. Correct. Without quote and also same spelling. That means T capital and rest small. Oh, okay. okay. You cannot say all capital because because mm -hmm. uh, you know only this thing gives a meaning that it is mm -hmm. true. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you put all capital, then it will throw error. Okay. It is it will not expect it as a boolean. So it will mm -hmm. expect it like a variable or mm -hmm. a string. So you you give quotation or you assign something something to it. Yeah. Okay, so these are the four basic data type, and there's one more we'll just see. We're not practice too much, it's called complex. Okay, again, if you have uh, read in mathematics, right? Um, okay, so it is called um, um, imaginary number. Okay, square root of minus two. Mm. Okay, minus one. So, see, we know that square root of minus numbers are not possible, correct? That's what we have learned. But mm -hmm. square root of minus 1 is represented as uh, i okay, in mathematics. In Python, we call it as j. Okay? So, j is square root of minus 1. Okay, so if I say square root of minus 4, what will you get? Square root of 4 is 2, number. yeah, 2, and uh, uh, minus is j, so you get 2j, right? Now, if I say, okay, uh, let me first show you this, and then, okay, so it's complex, right? Now, if I say print a into a, what do you expect to get? Some float. Yes, tell me what, which float? You said A into A, right? Huh, I'm multiplying A by into A. It should be like, okay, it's a, A is imaginary number. You will get some uh, float value, right? Like oh, integer or float something. Tell like me, that. tell me, no. I'm not typing A, I'm just, I, I want the value. 25. Minus 25, isn't it? J square is minus. So you get minus 25. And since it's a complex number, the output is also expected to be complex. So they'll add 0j here. Right? So minus 25 plus 0j. Okay? And this is what, uh, this is the last time that we'll discuss about complex. We'll not discuss about complex. Okay. Just one minute. Yes. So you said minus 25 plus uh, 0j. J. Because what it has is... to be of type, see, zero j is zero, isn't it? Nothing, okay. But since okay. it is uh, uh, complex, the output has to be complex, right? Because if we just say minus twenty five, it becomes integer, right? So, so when you multiply to complex number, it has to be a complex number only. So to convert, uh, you know, minus twenty five into complex number, we write plus zero j. Just okay. like see, fifty is an integer. Right. Okay. So convert 50 into float. What we have done, we at we said point zero. So point zero has no meaning, right? There is nothing. I mean, had it been point one, point two, that means yes, the value is different, correct? Mm -hmm. But point zero has no value, isn't it? But still, mm -hmm. we add so that it becomes float type. Otherwise, it would mm -hmm. have been integer. Similarly, we added plus zero j because it's a complex number. So the output also has to be a complex number. Yeah. Output of complex number operations should be a complex number only, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. So you know, and we will not discuss complex now, but other four will be using very often. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are the basic data type you call it. Okay. Basic data type means these val variables will store just one value, and based on your requirement, okay, you will be using this. And um, as I said here, we are not declaring, we are not predefining. And you see that I have used a everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Variable. Mm -hmm. So this is a variable name. Okay, variable mm -hmm. a I have used everywhere because okay. So in Python, you can change the value. You can change the data type also of a variable. First A is integer, then A became float, then A became string, okay, boolean, complex, so on, right? So you can uh, use reuse same variables, okay? So these are the basic data type. Now, what are different so options? Yes. Go ahead. If I assign another integer value to A, it already ah. has 50, right? Well, so, okay, no, the latest no, 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 will no, no, replace no, no. the previous one? Yes. So don't say it already has, okay? Okay. okay. See it. See uh, from line number two, I have assigned fifty, isn't it? So mm -hmm. till line number three only, a is fifty. After mm -hmm. four, it becomes fifty point zero. Mm -hmm. So from four to five, it is fifty point zero. But line mm -hmm. six became fifty. So now, if you assign something in line number fourteen, so till line number thirteen, it is my five uh, J, right? Mm -hmm. Till line number thirteen is five J. If you if you assign something here a equal to hundred. So from now on, it becomes A equal to 100. So when you are printing or when you are using, it will see what is the latest value that it has, previous line, what is the value. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing A into A, it is going and checking here and here. So from here it is getting. There's no confusion that should it be, uh, you know, integer or float or what, right? Because when I say A equal to 5J, so from here onwards, A is 5G only. So sequential mm -hmm. statement, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right, so it goes in that sequence. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So yes, so these are different data types. Now, what are the operations that you can perform here? What are the different um, uh, operations that you need to perform? Okay. Um, so <clears throat> the basic operations are your uh, Mathematical operation, or we call them as arithmetic operation. Mm -hmm. Arithmetic, okay, operation. So these are your mathematics operation, right? So let's say if I say a equal to five, b equal to uh, say eight, okay, you can say a plus b, right? This will give plus, right? You can say a minus b. Correct. Mm -hmm. You can say A into B. Okay. You can say A divided by B. These are the things probably, you know, we know. Okay. I'll put print arithmetic output so that the output we know where to check. Okay. So this is A plus B, A minus B, A into B, A by B. There are a few other op operators like A into into b okay mm -hmm. so see Didn't when you say like Google it, yes i saw that you use r yeah so this is for power right exponential exponential yes so um, exponential so exponential so you know a into a starts at b is a to the power b right then you have double slash Okay, this gives you integer division. Now, if I say 5 by 8 here, or rather I'll use 8, uh, you know, B by A, let's see. Because then only you will get uh, 1 point something. Otherwise, you'll get 0, isn't it? So when I say B by 8, which is 8 by 5, you probably get 1.6 around, right? 1.6. Mm -hmm. So it will give us the float as output. Yes. Okay. Mm. Here, when I say double slash, it will only mm. give you the integer part. Okay. So A by B will give you zero. 
right? A by yeah. B because 5 by 8 is less than 0. So it doesn't see what is after, you know, the decimal value okay. is ignored. So if I mm -hmm. say B by A, then what should we get? 1. 1. That's it. Okay, so you get 1. Okay, mm -hmm. here 1.6, here only 1. Okay, it ignores the decimal part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next, okay, there's one more here in arithmetic operators. We call it as um, um, uh, modulo. Okay. So, okay, let's do both A modulo B and we'll do B modulo A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Percentage is called modulo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this percentage means, okay, it is looking for the remainder. Okay. So, when you divide, mm -hmm. okay, integer division will only give you the quotient, okay, the, in the part. Mm -hmm. but, but this gives us the, uh, you know, remainder. So, mm -hmm. if you divide A by B, right, 5 by 8, so it 5 by 8, 8 goes 0 times, right? So, what is left? 5 is left. Mm -hmm. Correct? So, when you divide B by A, what is the remainder? Uh, three. Three, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are your arithmetic operators. Now mm -hmm. you'll be able to solve the third one also. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will have to use, you know, these things. Okay. That's the hint. Mm -hmm. Integer <laughs> <do you? laughs> So, okay. You will be able to do the third one. Okay. Okay, um, next I want to talk about is, um, and what I'll do is I'll give you, um, so after today's session, I'll give you some couple of examples, just like yesterday, which will use your, uh, uh, no, oper this knowledge of this. Mm -hmm. Next is um, conditional operator, because you are using conditional, right? So let's do conditional operators. How to check conditions, okay? See, conditional operators will take input as, in this case, we'll take input as integer float and output is going to be Boolean. I want to check, let's say again, I'll use A equal to five, B equal to eight. Now I'm saying print A, greater than b right so is a greater than b it's like asking it's so conditional is all is always like asking question mm -hmm. is a greater than is a greater than b is a greater than b no so if and if else condition we have no no, no. condition we'll do later okay. okay just checking is a greater than b answer is mm -hmm. no right no in python is Bool. false false right no is false right so you get mm -hmm. false here oh. right so again you can have um, a less than b right you can check okay. if a is greater than or equal to b or you can say if a is less than or equal to b right or you will say a equal to equal to b now see when we say a equal to 5 it is assignment mm -hmm. we are assigning the value mm -hmm. assigning the value 5 to a right but when you use double equal to mm -hmm. asking a question mm -hmm. Is a uh, yes checking is a equal to b? So answer will be either true or false. Here there is no output. Okay, value will be assigned quietly. Here mm -hmm. it will give you true or false. Of course, in this case you will get false because they are not equal, right? Mm -hmm. Similarly, opposite of this is a not equal to b. 
correct so mm -hmm. false a is less so, than b true a greater than b false right a less than equal to b true they are not equal but so they are equal no false they are not equal true so last one is like exclamatory mark and equal to what Correct. is that not equal to okay okay is a not equal to d right now if i make both of them eight of course some values will change not all right is a greater than b no false is a less than b no false right because a is neither greater nor less is a greater than equal to b yes so you're checking if it is greater or even equal to yeah. so answer is um uh, you know uh, yeah uh, uh, true right it is not greater but it is equal so it is true mm -hmm. here also it is not less but it is equal that's why you get mm -hmm. true here also mm -hmm. this will also be true and this will be false because a not equal to b no a is equal to b mm -hmm. you get false here mm -hmm. here Okay, so you know this is how we use these values. Okay, for our purpose. Okay, so we did uh, we did arithmetic operators. We did conditional operators. Okay, we'll stop here for today. Okay.